Hey guys, welcome back to the uh, Colang video chat project series. Uh, we have built the chat.go file, group.go file. We are currently building the stream.go file, part of the handlers package. In the previous video, we built our stream function. And now, today we'll be working on the stream websocket function, which is going to be very similar to what we did in Room. So in Room, you have your Room websocket function. So the stream websocket function is going to look quite similar to that. So let's get started. SUUID C dot params SUUID and we'll check if SUUID is an empty string you'll return rooms lock dot lock if stream comma okay w dot streams UID if everything is all right then you will say room lock dot unlock and stream connection C comma streams dot peers return and finally you will unlock And next, we'll work on our stream viewer web socket, socket uh, function. So the stream viewer web socket function. Actually, the, the first part is the same. So you just copy and paste this part. Actually, till here, almost it is the same. So you'll copy and paste this here. And uh, even the part ahead of this, they're going to be very similar things, only instead of stream connection, we'll be calling our viewer connection function. So I think what I'll do is I will just copy and paste the whole thing. And instead of stream connection, I'll just say viewer connection. And the viewer for connection function is something that we have to create out here itself. And the viewer connection function, which is going to be very similar to uh, the function that we created here, which is room viewer connection. So we're going to copy this much at least and paste it here the number of brackets that need to end we'll also copy that I think three brackets and now that we have the skeleton for it we can get started so after here We'll again use the same function from here, which is the uh, WebSocket message. And even this part is same. So at least till here, we can copy. OK, so just make sure you get got everything correctly. So you have c.connection.nextwriter, WebSocket.text message. OK. And if there's an error, then you return. And finally, you write now this is also going to be similar to I think is the same is going to be the same but just make sure you type it out and you make sure this part is getting you you got it correct percentage D comma length of P dot connections okay now there should be um, yeah so there should be four brackets getting closed make sure you do that and rest everything else looks okay all right so this was our stream.go file so this also got done pretty pretty quickly and in the next video we want to start tackling our webrtc so we have been referring to webrtc functions uh, quite a bit but we don't have them yet, uh, yet, yet. we don't we've, we have, don't have any logic in these files so what we want to do now is we want to start creating that logic once you do that, after that, we just have to work with our views and then we are ready to uh, fix all the issues and then, uh, you know, start testing it and start running it, which is not very far now. So we're getting very close to our journey. The best part is that the handlers are complete. The server is complete. The chat logic is complete. You just have to work on this logic and the views. Thank you for watching. I hope uh, you've subscribed to this channel and I'll see you in the next video.